Cheers, Cheers. guys. Cheers. Good health. Boy, you roll school there. I'm more spontaneous person. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I'd like to have a laugh. Do you want me to moonwalk? My name's Lee Tinner. I'm head chef at St John Bread and Wine in London. And I'm hungover. Well, St. John's where it all started for me after I've done a few shifts there for free. The head chef gave me a job and I've never, never looked back. Today we've just got a lot of uh, St. John classics on. So this is a pig skin. We braise, slice and then we deep fry it. We serve it some tarragon mayo and pickled chicory. And it just works really well with the sort of saltiness of the skin. This is one of our biggest sellers. It gets stuck in your teeth a little bit as well. It's been something to dig out while you're waiting for the next course. We don't exclude anything from the menu, really. We serve liver, heart, tongue. Is tails and everything's delicious as well if you know how to cook it. Next up is a blood cake, just like black pudding. So we've got pig head, back fat, some pig skin in there as well. The reason I like this dish so much is it goes with the whole St. John ethos of no style eating. You just get a nice crust on either side, really nice, spicy, rich blood cake with lots of pig head in it. It just works really well with the duck yolk. Just a little bit of vanity cut around it. That's the classic St. John way of doing it. The next thing we're going to do is, is mussels. I think this is the thing that actually makes this dish, this Breton cider. This is what we put in all the mussels. Works really well with the butter. There we have it. Hi right, guys, how are you doing? That's all. Good. good to see you, man. Good to see you, man. So out with Charlie and Tom. Charlie's an artist and Tom's a sheep farmer. Or sheep shagger. The sheep are not too bad. They're thinning out. I've had two escapes as well. How does that happen? I've got a really shit sheep dog. It's lemon. So St. John, there's two restaurants and a bakery. The bar and restaurant is 10 years older than bread and wine. A lot more rigor there. We get away with a little bit more here. But essentially, we're like brother and sister. Same tribe, different drum. How would you like to be described, Fergus? Founder of St. John? Uh, that sound good? All seeing chef and founder of St. John. All seeing chef. I don't know, there's a. Good. Trevor and Fergus are co founders of, uh, of St. John Bar and Restaurant. Cheers, Cheers guys. Cheers. Working with Fergus is great. My liver's got a bit more damaged in those 10 years. How was your journey? Yeah. I think I was a bit poisoned by the time I came back. Oh, the pancreas is playing out. <laughs> yeah, pancreas is playing out. Yeah. Yeah. It's only singed, I feel. <laughs> like the bone marrow is quite an iconic dish now. It's been on the menu for 20 years at St. John. It's become like a global dish. People put it on their menus all over the world. Close straight of it. It's basically cheesy toast. Here it gets gives you what's the sauce. Bone marrow, salad, selling snacks, things to keep the boys happy. Ah, Boulevard Napoleon, a wine, good wine. Very subtle, Yeah, I've got a How long you got? It is very nice. It is very nice. We need this. We need this. We should get going to Lahore. It's not on top. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's brilliant. This is the one with the driver in it. It's back in the early days of the internet. Dragon's fucking cars. So, uh, yeah, was a, you know, well, it's also a special thing. One of the Dragon fucking Optimus Prime as well. The Optimus Prime's got this really shocked look on his face. Are these actually photos? Where, where is it? No, the people have taken the time to draw them. <laughs> so how are they just fucking the car? Where's, where's the penis? It's a, in the exhaust pit, usually. Oh, right, of course. <laughs> Or oh, through the window street. Roasted, so there's one going through the front. Oh, they're probably getting a sit wank. Exactly. <laughs> 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 Hasn't changed a bit. It smells great. I grew up in South London, so I've been going there for years. But I haven't been there for a while. It was nice to see the places and change much. established in 1995. From the day one, it's, it's doing very well. It's all busy, 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 busy. So it's the main ingredient we made. We cook this for about four hours, three to four hours, onion, ginger, garlic, and tomato. This is the base of all the curries we make. 
They do a really good mixed grill, which is chicken, lamb, and coffees and so on like that. It comes in a big sizzle platter. And we had something I'd never had before, deep fried coli, doused in spices and flour, and it was really, really good. It's really nice and succulent inside, like bang on. I really enjoyed those two bits. And then all the, all the curries came out. This is the masala lamb chops. You've got a selection of plant breads. The breads are amazing. The chili naan is really good. Especially dump a bit of curry in there. And, just wash it back. You get high impact flavour straight away. Really, really tasty. As I'm here for the last uh, 10 years, I've seen Lee many times coming to the restaurant. He brought up in the Polish room, and this is his favourite restaurant. So when he comes in, he's very lively. He comes, he talks, he orders his food, he enjoys it. Cheers, guys. See you later. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Bye bye. Thank you. Uh, we're going to go to a place that's very close to my heart, my local pub, which is the Golden Heart. Oh mate, I'm home. <laughs> I can love this place. You alright? Uh, yeah. <laughs> we went up with my brother-in-law Andrew and then one of my best friends, Tom Harris. He's got a restaurant called One Leicester Street. If I had a day off to myself and my wife and kids were out of town, first port of call is the Golden Heart for a pint of Guinness and to chat with Sandra. Oh. She's the Queen of Shoreditch. She's been around for 30 years in that pub. My pub's never changed. No, I haven't had to refurb or anything like that. No, I like it the way it is. No, I'm very proud of it. We're going to get some beers and some shots, is that right? Lee is such a lovable, likeable chap. I always give him a kiss and a hug. And then he comes in because he loves my Guinness. Don't let me drink any more whiskey. So the only place I know you can get 24-hour food in London is two beef bagels on Brick Lane. So we're going to get some bagels and then we're going to go back to bread and wine. If I do get the opportunity to come down here after work, I always get a double mustard salt beef bagel. It's fucking great. And your nostrils are streaming, your eyes are fucking burning. And they're always really rude. I fucking love it. But I was definitely more drunk than I thought I was. I'd moonwalk down Brick Lane for some reason. Right on this spot, under this yin yang sign, is where me and my wife had our first kiss. Every time I walk past it. And I always send her a picture. It's like a stereotypical chef banging a waitress story. And they're interesting people in there. They've been around for a long time. Linda, she's a lovely lady. And she showed us around a bit, showed us where the magic happens. Mike, Mike, the dog. Ronaldo, we call him. Ronaldo? Yeah. After, After the, the footballer? And then I'll try and put some in the oven, they come out like this. About one o'clock, I reckon. All right, we'll expect you about two minutes. Right. Some munchies. With some munchies. Can you yeah. say that again? With some munchies. <laughs> so we've got the bagels. Fresh out the oven. Steaming in the bag. We're going to go back to bread and wine. I'm going to attempt to cook some ox heart buns. Bagels. <laughs> That's my wife. So this is the ox heart, which is going to fill the bagels. It's been marinated in ginger, lime, fish sauce, and rice wine vinegar, and also a bit of garlic. So very un Saint John, but it should be really good. I was too emotionally involved to. Uh, to eat any of it. So I have to take people's word for it, but Tom Harris ate four. It's a good benchmark for me. It's just right. It's exactly what you want with this. A bit of meat in a bit of bread with a glass of cider. Love it. Oh, you can't beat oxes. <laughs> <laughs> it's delicious. All right, you rascal. <laughs> this is one big joke. I've got something for you. Sweat, man. That's for your mouth, dude. <laughs> I think I was trying to hold it together as much as possible. I didn't want to be smashed, but I was definitely more drunk than I thought I was. I didn't expect that at all when I uh, came out of the kitchen. I think it went crimson, because it went on for too long. It was like a bit awkward. Ghana. There's a nice family aspect to working at Bread and Wine. Cheers, guys. Thanks very much. Thanks. Thanks. Sandra's taking me up the shaft. I don't you put this on camera. 
I don't want no divorce papers served on me.